Hey, do you like chickens? How about chicken pot pie? How about chicken nuggets? Chicken train, running all day. Chicken train, running all day. Chicken train, running all day. Can't get on, can't get off. Chicken train, take the chickens away. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the pasture. So we're going to check on our little friends here. Hey, birds. See how our friends are doing. They seem to be doing okay there. Hey, birds. Yeah, how about it? Everybody is looking pretty good so here's what i gotta do i gotta drop those feeders down i it looks like i have to refill some waters which shouldn't be a problem thanks to the law of gravity thank you mr newton um so we're gonna get these uh waters filled get these feeders down and then i will check back in with you before i head back to the hacienda all right so breakfast is served i've got the uh got all the feed down got that i've got that uh fermented feed spread out amongst the three tractors i think i'm just gonna have to start making more of that i've only made been making just the one bucket i think i'll probably double double that up and uh see if that helps us out uh, right now i'm just waiting on the uh waiting on that middle waterer to refill so that I can move it over here to this last one and then I can be gone. So uh, today's one of those early mornings in the office. I have coffee and conundrums where we encourage those agents to bring their conundrums for real estate and business and we try to solve them collectively. So um, they never seem to want to hear about my chicken raising conundrums. So how unfair. All right, so I am going to shake loose here. I'm going to check out from the pasture, and I will uh, check in with you guys just briefly when we check on those turkeys at home, and then we'll go on about our regular days, and I'll see you this afternoon. Stand by. All right, now to check on our turkey friends, see how our segregation went. How come I only see one bird? All right, so the saga continues. We've only got, we have two birds in segregation and we've only got one bird in the brooder. But to make the segregation box, I had to pull the back of our, all right, this is funny. What do you want to bet? Oh, look at that. I was looking back here and our bird friend made it into the segregation box. But I'm glad to report we still have four live birds. So that's good news. So I don't know. Probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. Whoa. Boy, that makes them that makes them unhappy, doesn't it? We're gonna take you out of there. How'd that bird even get in there? That's weird. Alright, so we got the big bird and the small bird that are doing well on the outside. We got the two small birds on the inside. We've got the feed kind of separated there. So let's get these birds fed. Let's refill their waters and we will go make a living and then we'll come back and uh, check in on them again this afternoon. Stand by. All right, so we are back out here on the pasture, checking on our pasture friends, seeing how they're doing. Hey birds. Hey birds, what's going on? Everybody is fat and sassy and full crops on them and they're all lounged out. Look at that old bird back there. Oh, never mind. He's he's done stretching out. So, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Looks like nobody's really attacking the feeders, so either we're out of feeding those or option number 2, they're full. I hope that's the case. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do, first things first, because that water fills so slowly, I'm gonna hook up the water, get that going. Then I'm going to turn these birds out. I'm gonna move tractors. I'm all by myself again tonight. So I'm gonna move these tractors. And then what we will do is we're gonna have a little weigh-in party. We're gonna weigh some birds because of our one-sided competition with Justin Rhodes and the American Farm Tour, Great American Farm Tour. So we're gonna see if uh, we can't prove to him that we know a thing or two more about raising chickens than he does. So uh, let's do that, let's get started. All right, so we've got, uh, we're all set up here to, uh, to weigh some birds. And I think what we realized last time is that the birds are pretty much the same throughout. Now the birds in that farthest east tractor were just a tad bit bigger, but I think we had birds in the other two tractors that were a little bigger. So um, we're weighing them today in the farthest west tractor. So that one that we were feeding the, uh, the extra uh, fermented feed to early on. We're in that tractor, so I'm gonna grab like a medium-sized bird here. Actually, this one's a smaller one. Smaller bird. And he is two point, two pounds, four ounces. So two and a quarter pounds. Come on, calm down. Um, this one looks just a little bit bigger. Three pounds, I'm gonna call that three pounds even. Here's the next one up for, for bed here. This one looks a little bit smaller yet. Wow, deceiving. So three pounds, two ounces on that one. So still pretty good bird, calm down. There's another one about the same size as those last two. Three pounds. Three pounds, one ounce, I'm gonna go with that. It's flashing two, but I bet it's three pounds, one ounce. So, pretty average size birds. Here's another one, about that same size. Maybe just a tad bit smaller by feel. Two pounds, 12 ounces. So, close to three, calm down. Close to three, let's see if we can grab another one here. There's another one, another good sized bird. You can tell by the feet how, how big they are or that they're bigger. Calm down, calm down. Hold on. Three pounds, three pounds Eve, another three pound bird. Oh, calm down. So let's do, let's do one more since I'm in here. doesn't quite feel three pounds but probably that high two pound 214 so really close okay I gotta tell you I could not be any happier with where we're at right now with these chickens on the pasture uh, we're five weeks old today. They just turned five weeks old today, and they are doing so, so well. Now, knock on wood, they're doing so well. I'm going to say that, and then all hell's going to break loose. But for right now, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm so pleased. They are, they're big. They're healthy. They're happy. They're pretty carefree. We've got them pretty much trained now to where when we turn them out, it's a one-man job getting them back in. The last tractor is always a little bit of a struggle because they don't know quite what to do, but those first two tractors go so smooth. Um, three pound birds, three pound birds at five weeks, five weeks old. So uh, a month and a week, we got five or three pound birds at five weeks. I'm, I'm so pleased with that. Now, again, it's a one-sided competition and he'll probably never even know that we're in a competition, but 
man, we are killing it. We're so happy with where these birds are at. So I keep saying that, don't I? So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna call it a day here. All the birds are watered. They're all fed. Uh, we've got the feeders picked up now because now what I want to be careful is not to overfeed them. We don't want to overfeed them, have them start having heart problems, have them start having joint leg problems, and and have all of our hard work uh, go for nothing. So we're gonna we're gonna keep monitoring that feed. We're gonna leave it down 12 hours a day, up 12 hours, and then we're going to uh, hopefully raise these birds out another 20 days. Is that right? Let me see. Uh, about another 20 days, 25 days, and uh, and we're going to uh, hopefully go to butcher with some really big uh, birds that'll that'll average four and a half, five pounds uh, when they're processed. So um, again, I'm very excited about where we're at. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this too. I know it's a lot of repetitive stuff, but hopefully you guys are able to see these birds growing day by day by day. So with that said, I'm going to check out for the day. Uh, today is day number, I think, 33, 33 or 34. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'll put it in the, uh, in the title. So Wyoming James checking out from another day on the Urban Micro Farm. Adios. Chicken train running all day, can't get